Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome yet to another quick tutorial. Uh, we're going to do some tracking here uh, using Fate in Gold. So here I have my back door window, which is broken. Um, and this is a prime example of what you would or what you can use tracking for, for replacement of objects, so on and so on. So today we're going to replace this piece of glass uh, with something else um, using Fate. Now I've got uh, this uh, piece of stained glass here, uh, which I am going to try and use um, to replace in the scene. So uh, let's go back to the uh, clip now. Using Fain Gold uh, with the clip selected, I'm going to come up to Effects, Fatec Fain, and then I'm going to open up uh, Fain Gold, um, and then I'm going to add track. Um, what I want to do is some. Uh, 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 options here uh, for the style of track you want so this is like a uh, a blob marker so you can rub over areas which you want to track this is uh, static um, and this is for static movement or moving objects so I'm just going to get this um, alignment tool and then I'm just going to basically go around the edge of where I want to track and I want to track this uh, door frame so with that selected i'm going to select my house layer because um, it's a static uh, object and i'm going to click start and then what's happened now is fane is now tracking the scene and it's also played placed sorry uh, a placeholder um down below so we're going to wait for that to track and once that's tracked guys um i'll come back to you and we can continue with the next stage uh, of the tutorial right so that has finished tracking and as you can see that solid or that piece of track is tracked beautifully to the glass of the window now this bit here is your control center and it normally comes undocked um, I've just decided to basically dock it to my After Effects uh, template because I use it quite a lot so you're going to select your track and then you're going to click on activate and that's going to give you a, uh, a, a grid and then I click on export and create no objects with inserts and with a camera. That's automatically going to give me a nice solid right here. So I can switch off my fade uh, placeholder now. And this is where the magic begins. So I want to go to my project. And this is the stained glass window I want to replace it with. So with my solid selected, I'm going to hold down all and I'm simply going to drag, drop and uh, release. And basically what that's done is that it's attached itself to that um, uh, solid. So basically in theory now all we need to do is trim a stained glass window. We could mask it out. And if you've got any other sort of uh, track, if that makes sense, you can basically, I'll show you now, watch. You're gonna like this. All right, so. This is our stained glass window. So now we've got X, Y, and Z axis. So I'm gonna just bring this down. And now what I can do is I can open this up. I can open my transform. And I'm, what I'm gonna do guys, I'm drop my opacity down to 50%. So I can basically see, maybe a bit lower actually. Let's go down to 10%. And that basically, so I can see the outline of the door frame. So what I'm gonna simply do is with the slip sel clip selected, I'm going to create a mask uh, around my door frame here, like so. And then I'm going to reopen my picture of my tulip and bump it up back to 100. And basically, in theory, what we've done is we've cut out the edges that we basically don't want uh, to make it uh, a better finish. So if we zoom out now and close this and press play, that stained glass is tracked uh, beautifully with my door. So let's ram previews this out and then play it back and you'll see how great this actually is. And this is just literally a rough picture, so um, it's it's nothing special. But because we brought, um, it's obviously a, a sort of see-through image. We're still getting a beautiful sunlight through, and 
when I did the uh, the mask, I, I never really did it too great, so I missed a little corner here. But it's something we can still fix, and I'll show you how to do that uh, in a second. But as you can see, it is perfectly trapped, tracked um, to our window there. And because we've got a null object here now, we can add other things to the scene. So I'm just going to select that, and then I'm just going to basically uh, cut out uh, what I what I want to keep and remove the rest, basically. And then let's open up the mask, and let's click invert. Like so, let's try this one. Like so, let's turn off our mask and let's click on our first mark, click F, further it say about two pixels. And now let's click on our picture again and let's just play around with how it basically sits because this is like a 3D layer now, okay? Or well, it is a 3D layer, shall I say, um, because it's automatically made it a 3D layer. Um, because this was our solid, as soon as we replaced the solid with this picture, um, it became our 3D layer. So we're going to try something very, very cool now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, control D this. Um, and basically what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to simply bring this. Let's hold down shift um, to the bottom part of the window. So. this up like so maybe bring it in just a touch and bring it over and now because this is a double solid layer when we play back what we've done is we've replaced our door and these stained glass windows and this is basically a rough way of what you can use uh fan for um fan go for it's 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 amazing it really really is and then you can sort of sort these out. i mean i just use a really sort of bad quality picture but i think you can get you the a rough idea of how solid the track really is um and the possibilities of what you can use this tracking tool for as you can see we've still got the light coming through outside uh, which is great it don't look too bad at all so just run preview that and then uh, we'll check it out so that is basically how you do it and as you can see we play back perfect trap even with uh, a wobbly camera absolutely fantastic so guys as always if you have enjoyed this quick tip fan tracking tutorial um, a like rating would definitely be appreciated and as always, I will definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.